sometimes really focus on what people how we feel we should be like I was trying to build this big huge company and I realized like I don't have to do that to be successful I can create something small quaint boutique for me that gives the people that I'm working with everything they need and more and I can do that in a way that feels fulfilling and I don't have to be this person building this conglomerate of an organization to be successful and so that allowed me to really mm -hmm. hone in on the solopreneurship, being a coach and helping people build their dream businesses. What are you doing for yourself and what are you doing to help clients through this? Yes. Um, so I am not perfect at it either. And I don't expect anybody to be perfect at it. Um, but really the biggest thing is the first thing for me is learning to disconnect because I love what I do so much. I have to have a hard stop, right? It's like at this time, Valencia, laptop closed, phone off, you need to step away and do something for yourself. Um, and that's either exercising, that's me going to start playing my guitar because I am trying to learn how to play the guitar. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but really giving <laughs> myself other things outside of what I'm doing as a business owner. Because we can easily get consumed. I would be lying to let you say that I don't have nights where I'm just thinking about tons of stuff that I can be doing. Um, but it's really figuring out ways to disconnect that can get my mind off of it. Um, and even at night, I love to watch a movie before I go to bed, right? It's like some people like to read. I am a movie girl because when I'm in the movie, it takes my mind away from all the things that I'm working on and I can focus in on the plot of the movie like ooh, what's about to happen <laughs> um, and that just helps give me some time to breathe and it helps me go to sleep easier because I'm like okay I, I had an opportunity to fully disconnect um, and so it's about mm -hmm. finding that the next thing is creating a, a routine right it doesn't have to be fully structured but some type of routine where it's like okay I know I want to work out three times a week or I want to make sure that on Fridays, I call them free flow Fridays. I have free flow Fridays. So on Fridays, I don't have any meetings scheduled and I just get up and I decide what I want to do that day. Um, and I make it up and go. I have this little Chinese restaurant that's close by that I love to go to and I'll just go in there and eat. They know me by now. They come up to the table. They're like, okay, do you want unsweet tea? You want... <laughs> I already know what I'm ordering. <laughs> um, so they know. Nice. Um, and so with that, it's like, it's just a way for me. It gives me something to look forward to. That day, I'll go maybe go to the spa or I'll go get a facial or I'll go get my hair done. Like, it just really gives me a day to focus on me. And my clients know as they work with me, like, hey, y'all. And I encourage them to do the same. But I'm like, on Fridays, if you send me a message, I probably won't get back to you until Monday. Um, and they know that and they respect mm -hmm. that because they're trying to create the same lives for themselves. There, are you working with coaches who are brand new and starting to just figure out how to build a business? Or are you working with people who are further along and already doing their business and helping them improve it? Yes. So, um, so really, I help coaches that have been in business for about one to five years. Um, and what I do is I help them simplify their systems and strategies so that it's easy for them to consistently hit that 10K plus months, right? Um, cause that's what we want as coaches. We want to be, I want coaches to be able to get out of their business just as much as they put in. We pour our hearts mm -hmm. and our clients and our business. And I want to make sure that it also gives you what you want financially, but it's also fulfilling work and you're doing all the things that you want. Like your business is giving you all you want and more. What do you think the biggest issue is for those coaches? Is it because they haven't truly figured out what it is or is it because they're struggling in other ways? And are you referring to the ones that are in business for one to five years or the ones that have that Yeah. Um, yeah. The ones that are in business. For five years. You know what? The biggest thing is overcomplicating, like trying to do all the things 
and it's hard. Like online gurus are coming out of the woodworks. You should be doing this and you should be doing that. And so you're constantly trying all of these things that one, don't align with you. Um, and two, you're like, if I do this, I should be getting results right away. And people give up on things very, very quickly, right? If you start doing something they normally within a month, they're like, okay, I didn't see the results I was expecting. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, and so for me, it's about really establishing what is it that aligns with you as a coach? What are the things that you can consistently do? What are the things that you can do consistent while you consistently show up so that you can start seeing those results? But it's something that you actually enjoy doing versus something that, oh, I'm just doing it to check a box. Um, and so that mm -hmm. to me is where a lot of coaches in that one to five year period are sh why they're struggling um, is because they're just trying to figure it out by doing all the things when in essence, it's like doing two things will get you the results rather than doing all the things. A funnel that's three to four steps and you get the outcome that you're looking for.